these roads with you Can't remember the last time my way was out you from my weekend trip and uh, as soon as we got back we went grocery shopping and then I wanted to go on a walk because I just feel really bloated and disgusting and fat. But to be honest with you, I let myself go this weekend. I didn't want to have the stress of thinking about eating my healthy meals and you know, having to make special things just for me when I was trying to have a weekend with my sister and my family and her family. So I just went with the flow of everybody else and just ate whatever they ate and ate whatever I wanted and I gave myself a nice break. Um, but I do feel really, really gross and really bloated. I'm not even gonna look at the scale because I know I'll just be upset. I just went on a 30 minute um, jog. I never like to run. I really don't like jogging, <laughs> but I really needed to get a sweat on so I could kind of like get rid of these toxins in my body and um, get rid of the water weight that I, excess water weight that I'm probably holding. And I'm going to do a detox starting tonight. I'm going to start drinking my lemon water and my green tea with ginger and lemon. And I'm just going to start the detox to get rid of all the crap that I ate this weekend. <laughs> So, yep, I'm going to work out probably every day this week just to get back on track because I just feel so gross and bloated. And um, I'm not like for an hour every day, but I'm probably going to do like 15 minutes to 30 minutes once a day for the this whole week. Um, so I thought I'd start off and do today. Today is Sunday. I figured I would give myself a little walk to start sweating it out. What is this? Oh my god, you guys. My hair dye is bleeding on me. <laughs> it's because I dyed my hair fresh pretty recently. But, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to update you guys that I am back home from my trip. And, you know, sometimes we gotta just go with the flow and have a cheat weekend. But, you know what? I set a goal out for myself and I made that goal so I'm just maintaining right now so I was like you know what I'm gonna have fun this weekend and that's what I did but now it's back on the grind and that's the most important part as long as you go back to what you were doing before you're good you've changed so I just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you know that I ate a bunch of crap I don't even think I ate a vegetable this weekend I ate one banana. That was the only fruit I ate. Literally, I just ate like cakes and cookies, muffins, macaroni and cheese, chicken fried steak, potatoes. Oh my god, it was really bad. But we're back on the grind. 
Hey guys, good morning. Today is Tuesday the 25th and I wanted to end this vlog so I figured I would come on here and it's a little short so I'm just gonna do a little haul with you guys. I got a few things while I was on vacation and then I got a few things when I came back so I just figured I would share it with you guys. This isn't the best angle but we're just being chill right now so it's just gonna have to do. So first thing I wanted to share with you guys was while I was on vacation, I was expecting a little package from Wish, um, and I ordered these plugs. They're stone plugs, and they're opal, so here's them right here, and they're kind of, yeah, so they're opal, so they kind of look like in the light, they'll look different when the light shines through them. They're kind of bluish, pinkish, purpley-ish. I'll show you how they look. Let's do this side. This doesn't have as many pimples. Yeah, guys, I broke out super, super bad because I had a epic cheat weekend. Like, I ate everything and anything, and I didn't exercise when I was on my vacation, and that's why I'm breaking out super bad. I'm assuming it's from all the bad processed food that I ate, and also the fact that Hot Flow is in town this week, so... Oh, apologize for that but yeah here's what it looks like and it looks way better like in the sun and stuff right now on camera it just looks white but I had another pair that were almost exactly like these and they didn't have that double rim I don't know if you can see there's a dip in the middle and there's like an outer rim on each side they didn't have that so they would fall out all the time and I think they were too small so I had to go up a size and I just got those from Wish um, that app where it's like everything is from China it's really cheap and these were only a dollar and a dollar shipping so you cannot beat that they feel like heavy like stone they look really pretty and it's a buck they took like three and a half weeks to get here but that's the price you pay and I got mine in the size 12 millimeters if you were wondering it's uh, almost a half an inch it's in between 7 16 and a half an inch so Another thing that I got, these I actually got on my vacation. Um, I think there's a clip in there when I was in a little boutique because I went to Green, Texas. We didn't go on vacation far. We just, so I live in Texas, if you don't know already, and um, we went to New Braunfels, which is right next to Green, Texas, and Green, Texas is kind of like a popular touristy type site. They have a very famous bar there and uh, they have this restaurant called the grist mill and that's where we went to eat because that's one of our favorite places to go as a family when we get together and they have really good chicken fried steak and it's just kind of like a country town like a little cowboy country type town so it's really fun to visit because they have a bunch of cute old time shops and you know old restaurants and um, little boutiques and stuff so there's this one boutique that I really like going into because they have jewelry for super sheep. And I broke my choker on the vacay. I was really sad about it. I accidentally like snapped it when I was trying to dry it because it got all wet next to the sink. Um, so I was like, I'm on the search for chokers. I wasn't sure if they were going to have it because they're not the most like in with the now but they actually did have a bunch of chokers so I got two of them and both of them are two dollars each if you can see super cheap so if you live in the Texas area and you haven't visited Green Texas and it's spelled G-R-U-E-N-E um, you should definitely go and there's like this little boutique with all these like bright colors on the outside it's like yard decorations and they have really nice cheap jewelry and this one is a black velvet choker and it also has this black leather choker attached to it with this little rectangle uh, rhinestone and I thought that was super cute and could match with most outfits and I needed a plain black one since I broke my black choker and the second one that I got was also $2. And this is a, a denim choker, which I thought was really cute. And denim is like really in right now. And um, I like the color with my hair. I like the way that denim looks with my hair. And I just thought, what a cute way to bring some color into my wardrobe. And it has this little rhinestone with little rhinestones all around it. And I thought it was pretty cute, like sort of like a neutral, but still different than just black so I thought that was cute so I picked up those two 
And what else did I get? Oh yes, I needed a new moisturizer. So when I got home, I got this Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer with salicylic acid and it's oil free. Um, this is an OG of mine. I used to use this when I was a teenager. I've used it for years um, and then sometimes I just stop using it and then I go back to it. And because I had this crazy breakout, I was like, I need some extra help. Even though I have prescriptions for my acne, I just needed more. And this always just makes my skin feel really good and tingly. Like when you put it on, it has like this cooling sensation. And I love the way it feels and I love the way it smells. I literally just put it on because I just got out of the shower. Oh, I forgot how much I love this. It's like $4.79. So it's pretty affordable. And also Walmart has a their Equate brand. Um dupe of that and it's like a dollar cheaper if you want to do that but I wasn't at Walmart so I just got the clean and clear and then another thing I got I went to Dollar Tree so I'm just going to show you guys random stuff I got from Dollar Tree oh no wait let me show you one more makeup product oh I am I am out of control here I picked up one of these elf uh, clear brow and lash mascaras. This is an OG if you've been watching my channel since the beginning This was the only brow gel that I ever used and I had been trying uh, new brow gels So uh, I just wanted to go back to this because I needed a new one and I didn't feel like spending six dollars on a brow gel at the moment So I just went back to my OG It's always good and it's two dollars and then also something I'm really excited about is the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. Y'all, I have been looking for this everywhere. I went to CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, HEB, like I've gone everywhere, Ulta, to look for this and I couldn't ever find it. And then my sister was on the phone with me and she was, before she got here, and was asking what's a good highlighter at the drugstore and I was telling her, girl, if you can find this, get it because I've been looking for it and I can't find it but I heard that it was amazing and beautiful and I saw it on YouTube and it was gorgeous and everybody's raving about it so if you can find this fine and she's like what are you talking about you can't find it it's right here but she lives in Virginia and she found it so easily and I was like girl oh my god like please if you get it for me I'll give you money when you get here so she brought me this and she just ended up buying it for me which is so super sweet she's the best ever but I was like girl I cannot believe this because I've been looking for it forever so I have been using this for the past uh, week and it's absolutely gorgeous I'm obsessed it's like a gold highlight I don't know it's hard to see on camera but you can kind of see there it's kind of like a rose gold highlight it is absolutely gorgeous especially if you have a tan okay so let's move on to Dollar Tree I picked up last night I needed hand soaps for both of my bathrooms so I got two of these my other one is in the downstairs bathroom I love this because you get 14 fluid ounces for a dollar and this one smells really good it's a uh, lavender chamomile and I always get that one from Dollar Tree and then I also got body soap. I always get the Dial brand from Dollar Tree. And this is the spring water scent. And I've been loving this scent lately because it smells super, super fresh and clean. And I love clean scents. And then I also got had a bunch of hygiene stuff. I also got another one of these. I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube. I may have. And I think I snapped it one time. But um, this is kind of like a dupe of those Summer's Eve cleansing wipes for your, your hoochie hooch. <laughs> but um, I really like these for like when I'm on my period or when it's summertime and it's really hot out and you just get sweaty down there. You can just like freshen up. I know it's like TMI, but I'm a TMI person just so y'all know. I'm going to talk about all the things on here that maybe most people don't want to talk about but uh so these are the feminine cleansing wipes and it's the brand maxi thins and they have these in like the travel section like the hygiene section and it says right here compared to summer's eve cloths and i really like them and they smell really good and they're a dollar and you get 32 so why not um and then the last thing that I have here that I got from Dollar Tree was a body lotion because I saw this and I was like look how gorgeous this bottle is and it looks like they're trying to be like Bath and Body Works so I figured I would put it to the test. It says April Bath and Shower. 
I think is the brand up here. And then it says Aqua Dreams Musk and Freesia Scented Body Lotion. So, you know what? It kind of looks like Victoria's Secret too, but Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret are basically the same thing. Oh, this smells so, so, so good. I knew it would. Like, I didn't test it in the store, but I smelt it. But it was like faint unless you like, you know, take it out of the bottle. I mean, it feels pretty moisturizing. I get worried with buying like Dollar Tree lotions because I feel like they're not going to be moisturizing. But this one's really thick and creamy. It smells really good, but it's not super strong. Like Bath and Body Works lotions are like pow pow with scent. And this definitely smells good, but I can tell that the scent won't last all day. Yeah, but it does smell really good. It does make my skin feel soft, I will say that. I just don't think it'll be as long lasting as Bath and Body Works, but hey, I was like, I see you. I see you trying to be like Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna check it out. So it's a dollar, you can't go wrong. As back here that it's an April Bath and Shower Hydrating Body Lotion. Wait, Bath and Shower? Does that mean you're supposed to put it on the shower? No, I don't think so. Hold on. Hydrating body lotion is enriched with vitamin E and aloe vera to help soothe the moisturized skin. Give yourself soft, smooth skin all day. Apply over the body after bathing and shower. Repeat as necessary. Well, I just showered, so. Feels soft to me, and it smells good. I just don't feel like the scent will last like like I said, like super duper long. And I did get a few more things downstairs, but it's pretty boring. I just had to get more Tupperware for my meal prep. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Um, but it's really good to get Tupperware there because they have the Betty Crocker brand, which is pretty good. And sometimes they do the value where you get three Tupperwares for a dollar instead of the two pack that they usually have. So I just got a couple of those. Um, but that's about it. So I'm just going to end this vlog here, you guys. I know it wasn't like the most crazy exciting vlog ever but at the very least i hope you somewhat enjoyed it or got some entertainment out of it um don't forget to like if you like my vlogs and you want me to post more vlogs and i'm probably gonna do it anyway to be honest with you <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you in the next video bye guys